Monday morning, you walk into geometry class, and this is on the board. Oh, my God. You totally forgot you have a quiz today, and maybe you were even absent the day they went over interior <coughs> angles. So now you sit down, and then the teacher drops a quiz on you, and the first question you see is, find X. And then they show you this diagram. And you're like, oh, I don't know. So then you pull this thing. Yeah, no, that's really not gonna work. In this video, I'm gonna show you how the interior angles of a polygon work. And we're gonna do this question as well. Here we go. First thing you have to remember is something kind of basic about a triangle. And that is that all the angles inside of a triangle, one triangle will add up to 180 degrees. So if I'm looking at a shape that's not a triangle, maybe I can turn it into triangles by drawing a diagonal like this. And look, this four shape figure now is two triangles. There's an angle there, an angle there, an angle there. That's 180 degrees. And then there's 180 degrees in the other triangle too. You have something that has four sides. That'll come out to be two triangles and you end up with total being two times 180, which is 360 degrees. Oh look, it's a five-sided figure. I drew the diagonals and I end up with three triangles, which means I have three 180 degree figures in there. Five sides, three triangles, three times 180 is 540 degrees. This is a pentagon and the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. There's a relationship to the number of sides and the number of triangles you're gonna get. And in order for you to find that relationship, I'm gonna show you all of this. You'll see a pattern here. You have one triangle, it has three sides. Something with four sides, you're gonna end up with two triangles, five sides, three triangles, six sides, that's called a hexagon four triangles and seven sided figure is called a heptagon. It has five triangles. Do you see the pattern? Yeah, there are always going to be two less triangles than the number of sides. So all you have to remember is just subtract two. Count the sides, go two less, that's the number of triangles. And from there you figure out the sum of the internal angles like this. You multiply the number of triangles times 180. Obviously one triangle is one times 180. Two triangles are going to be 360. Five-sided figure has three triangles. That's going to be three times 180. That's 540. A six-sided figure will have four triangles. Four times 180 is 720. Seven sides will have five triangles and five times 180 is 900. And you can keep doing this as long as you keep adding sides. Let's do a simple problem using this idea. Obviously it's not drawn to scale. Geometry diagrams usually aren't ever drawn to scale, so don't get tripped up by that. We need to find that missing angle. Well, it's just a matter of finding out what the angles are supposed to add up to. Well, this thing has five sides. That means we know five sides would break up into three triangles. And that means the whole thing has to add up to 540 degrees. So if I just make a little equation where I add all the angles up except for the x, that equals 540. x plus 455 equals 540 degrees. Subtract 455 from both sides. What's left over is 85 degrees. And so that is what x must equal. That's a very basic type of problem. Now let's swing back to that problem we were talking about in the beginning. There's a lot more algebra involved here, but we do it the same way. First count the sides so you know how many you're dealing with here. Okay, six sides means four triangles. It's always two less. That means the interior angles all have to add up to be 720 degrees. Add it up with the x's and all the numbers, all of that will have to add up to 720 degrees. So let's write an equation. If I start by looking at all of the x's, I have a 2x, an x, that's 3x, 4x, 5x, I have 5x. Adding up all the numbers, you have a negative 50 and an 80, that's 30. 30 plus 40 is 70, 70 plus 20 is 90, and 90 plus 150 is 240. So 5x plus 240 equals 720. Subtract the 240 from both sides. 5x equals 480. Now you want to divide by 5. And we end up with x equal to 96 degrees. If you found this helpful, fantastic. I hope you do really well on this topic in your geometry class. If you'd like to check out my other geometry videos, I have a playlist here for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.